GeekBuzz CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel from Showstoppers at CES 2013 with David from Orasma. Say that five times fast. David from Orasma, David from Orasma, David no, from no, Orasma. No, 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 I can't do that. Okay. Yeah. So what are we talking about? I'm, I'm hearing a lot of augmented reality happening. What does that mean exactly? So augmented reality is basically, in its simplest terms, is putting something digital onto something that exists in the physical world. So we can show you examples of whether it's a magazine or it's a piece of print or it's even physical objects, bringing in digital content that has relevance to like that this. object, like that. And does it, does it cost a lot of money? It cost anything. It doesn't even cost that. Oh, wow. Okay. So what are we really looking for when you created this? What were you targeting as far as audience is concerned? And The reality is that augmented reality has has access for anyone. So what most people think is, is a lot of the samples that we brought today, which are very marketing focused, right? But what a lot of people don't know is that 20% of our usage is actually in the classroom. So teachers are using this in the classroom to enhance their history lessons and all, all over the map. It's actually amazing. Because kids really need to be distracted in order to learn. Like, that's the way it is. I, I don't remember anything that I learned from high school. I'm going to admit that. Most of my pictures of my daughter are me using my phone and her reaching for it. Oh, there you go. Well, speaking of which, what we're seeing right now is Iron Man lifting off. And this is actually, if you can see, it's the actual environment of Showstoppers right now. And that's pretty awesome. It doesn't have to be about fun, and it's not just about kids in the classroom, but we can also learn some things as adults. So what do, what do we mean by that? Well, have you ever tried to install a router? I can do it, but some people can't. Have you ever tried to read a manual for installing a router? I hate manuals. Show me. Exactly. exactly. So what can happen is that we can bring any digital content onto a physical object. So what I have in my hand is an HP router. HP makes everything so much easier because they own our company, so I'm going to talk, say really good things about that. And what they say is that installing a router is as simple as three steps, but those three steps you have to find it in the manual. What if I can use my phone to actually just see what, where to plug these, these uh, cables into? What's really interesting is we see some examples of print. But what Erasmus can do is it can actually recognize objects in the real world as well. When I shine Erasmus over the router, what it's going to do is it's actually going to show me step by step of how to install this router. This is some awesome technology, and I just want to thank you, David, so much for being here with me to teach me about all that jazz. And I'd have to say it's Erasmus. Thanks a lot, guys. Did you know that NPR's award-winning public radio app is one of the many apps you can control with your voice using Ford Sync AppLink? Connect a supported mobile phone to your Ford vehicle via Sync AppLink, and before you know it, you'll be able to stream your local news, listen to your favorite programs, like All Things Considered, and you gotta love those TED Talks, and you can navigate through custom playlists, all using simple voice commands. Sync AppLink is yet another example of how Ford is going further to keep you connected on the go. Thanks again to Ford for powering this Geek Buzz CES special.